little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. Tonight on EA Sports, Super Bowl 55. Super Bowl 54 took place downstate in Miami, and the world has certainly changed an awful lot in that time. But tonight, for a few hours, we bring the focus back to the greatest spectacle the sporting world has to offer. Super Bowl 55 from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, and what a matchup we have in store. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand, and Charles, we know how difficult it is to go back-to-back -back in the NFL. Few have succeeded in doing so, but here are the Kansas City Chiefs, champions of the AFC yet again, try to lift that Lombardi trophy. Remember, this is a franchise that played in the first ever Super Bowl. Then they ended up winning Super Bowl IV, which was 50 years prior to winning Super Bowl 54. They didn't want to wait another 50 years, so they went ahead and made it back this year. What a great run for this Kansas City team. Meanwhile, the Buccaneers are back in the Super Bowl for just the second time in franchise history. I know one thing, they'd love a repeat of that first appearance. Would they ever? That was 2003 in San Diego, and it was Super Bowl 37. They were the underdogs coming in against the Oakland Raiders, and they flogged the Raiders in that game, 48-21. to 21. You know what I remember most about that? John Gruden was the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but he'd previously been the head coach of the Oakland Raiders. And during practice leading up to the game, he would play scout team quarterback and tell the defense all the characteristics and mannerisms of the Raiders quarterback, Rich Gannon, and had his defense totally prepared. And boy, did they play well and won their first Super Bowl title. Well, it's been a trying year for everybody, but the tradition continues. Super Bowl 55, away we go from Tampa. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out at Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm, and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former Major League pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? We'll start with the option. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they're in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, you can see... Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. Yeah, and this time it's going to come from the middle linebacker because watching the linemen, it seemed to me that they thought he was going to drop back into pass protection, but he surprised them and came on the blitz instead and had a pretty clear run to the quarterback. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Play action, it's Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. 
And it's complete to Kelsey. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. From midfield, here's Mahomes. His throw incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Mahomes will try again on second down. Gets this one to Hill. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle is made at the box 26. That one goes for 24 yards. now on first down. He'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. On second down, Williams. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Man open left side, it's Williams. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. No! Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull off, and not hit him. There's the penalty. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Only a yard that time, second and goal. On second down now, it's Williams. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. And Mahomes is going to keep it. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Tampa Bay coming out along with a man who needs no introduction, the great Tom Brady. And I like what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner. Ordering I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. He was a 1,000-yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude, and... I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. We talked to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all these things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there to give your team the best chance to win. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Tender Thompson picks it, and this one will be brought back to the 22. Charles, not only is that an interception,
interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At a 30-yard line. On second down, it's Williams. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early. Run him through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Well, I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. It's now second and six. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Now the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. And it's third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, the Holmes. That is caught at the seven yard line. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A 15 yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a real tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets them a first down. From the gun, it's Brady on the move to his left. To Evans on the slant. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Flush to his, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Bucs are able to make this a close game again. I'd have to say we're all a little bit surprised there because at his age with his speed, or should I say lack thereof, the only rushing touchdowns I would expect are on quarterback sneaks. But here, he found all of his guys covered, and he said, why not? And by the way, if that doesn't fire up your team to see the veteran like that risking his body for the touchdown, I don't know what will. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
A well executed 22 yard gain. First down, Chiefs. Throwing now is Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. They run the option on second down. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 14. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. It was a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he's taken down at the 7 after a gain of 7. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. So they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, sit, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Chiefs, 14, Buccaneers, 7. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll run it with Williams. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. And he's been busy with his feet. He's been quite the scrambling man. And obviously that can break down a defense, but a lot of it is just that they just get trapped with worrying about it so much that other things break down as well. You know, you break the huddle, and you're not just playing what comes out at you. You're like, oh, God, don't let him outside of the pocket. Don't let him beat us with his legs. And then he starts to beat you other ways. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. To throw again. Brady. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Throwing his Brady on third down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On third and ten, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. And he's going to get this inside the 30. at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Evans once again, the intended receiver and it's second down. Rolling to his right. Again for Evans. This time he's got him. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards and that leaves him just short. And he's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Rob Gronk.
Gronkowski there to make the grab. And the Bucs have made this a one-score game. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. They find themselves open for an easy touchdown. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Here's Nicole Hardman. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Chiefs take over first and 10. At their own 20. Here's Damian Williams making his way back out. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. Maybe we need to up that a little. A quick throw out to Hardman on the perimeter. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. At the 47 yard line. Now here's Mahomes. Incomplete. Mahomes pass. Diggy, let's go. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. Now Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And he's got this down to the 35. His second catch in the Super Bowl, but it's good enough for a first down. First down, Kansas City. Gets it to Hardman, a jet sweep. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, helped their spot, and stacked him up. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. The Chiefs on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and 11. Mahomes now to throw. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash, this from 53. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny, when we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now, defensively, you've almost got to get down in there. And that's caught inside the 35. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Brady now on first down. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Shotgun now for Brady. Escaping the pressure right. 
And he hauls it in for a Buccaneer touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Bucs are able to make this a close game again. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Here's Hardman on the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. First and 10 at their own 23 yard. Damian Williams and the Chiefs ready to begin their next drive. He's already cruised past the 100 yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. Let's we'll stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Now Travis Kelsey, 73 yards. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, this is caught inside the 15. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Chris Godwin, 75 yards. And the Bucs get the quick strike touchdown. We keep waiting year after year to see signs of Tom Brady's arm strength deteriorating, but his message there, keep waiting. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Yeah, and that throw, my goodness, and even 70 yards through the air. Gay is on for the point after. And the lead is down to a field goal now. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Here's Hardman on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Chiefs take over first and 10. There's Damian Williams making his way back out. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. And this will be incomplete. 
so much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And it's third down. Again, it's Mahomes. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. So they went to the booth to see if that was a touchdown, and they have decided it will not be a touchdown. Six points off the board. A 51 yard is in. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Those really long field goals, when they are made, they are things of beauty, but there is a danger to getting them started, isn't there? Yeah, with that low drive, you've got to really keep it low to the ground, don't you, to get that distance. Yeah, hard to just pop it up in the air, because otherwise it's not going to get there. So he's got to drive it low in order to have the distance, and that usually puts it in jeopardy, gives him a chance to block it, and everyone knows it on the other side. That's when you get your best jumpers on the other side of the field to try and get up and get it. And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. On first down, Brady gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady, that's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Brady now on first down. We'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. To throw again on second down. Brady. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now Brady again. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down here at the 3 yard line. Throwing again on second down. Brady. That's complete. Right around the 8. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. That is caught at the seven-yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Three to throw again. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Bucs have taken the lead. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. <laughs> That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Here's Hardman on the return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. 
And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Brings up second and 10. Mahomes will try again on second down. And his pass incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this. And down he goes. A bucket no in the no Like a freight train there. Derek Nottie with a sack. Well, they went with a nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. They try and bring the pressure, but he still gets off a good one. This is fielded at the 27. at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. Allen on to punt as he gets this one away. Now this is going to work out well as it's out of bounds near the 13-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack charge. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, trying to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Brady again here on second and ten. Flushed out right. He'll run it. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Tom Brady flashing the mobility, scrambling there for a first down. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to keep it here. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and that'll be second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked off at the 28, and he will take up. this one Don't home. That's a touchdown. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that one pretty much sealed the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison in the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic. Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall him all. What a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Now Saquon Barkley. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. He may try and run for this. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. That catch good for only a couple. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady, now he'll pull it down. And down he goes.
brings it to 49, a three-yard pickup. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. He can run for it, and he will. And he's taken down at the 43, but now the four picking up the first. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So we've reached halftime here in Super Bowl 55. As we send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 